welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner and today I'm going to have a look at a tool called Webpack. Now I've been looking at Browserify the past uh, couple weeks and that's a tool that lets you use common JS format for your dependencies with JavaScript. So you can write your JavaScript using a bunch of different files, modules, have them depend on each other and then use the tool to kind of combine them into one giant file. Now Webpack does the same thing, but it does it in a kind of a smarter way. So it gives you the option to build multiple files and it uh, does a few other things that I think is pretty cool. So I'm going to try it out and uh, see if I like it. So I'm on the Webpack website. I'm just going to pop over to the documentation. I've been Looking at it a bit today, um, first thing I'm going to look at is, I guess, the getting started tutorial. Uh, so I just need to install Webpack. It's a it's a global install, so I'm going to do that on the command line as administrator. And I just set up my folder here with uh, my demo. I'm going to start off using the same... Uh, project I did for another video where I got React code working in Browserify. So this time I'm going to start with that and I'm going to get the same code working with Webpack instead. So let me just install Webpack. I'm not sure how long it'll take, maybe a few seconds. And uh, one thing I like with Webpack is it has a config file so you can you can sort of set up your project and you know tell it how you want the different types of files to be handled and I think it gives a lot of flexibility it lets you use it lets you use CommonJS that Browserify also uses it lets you use AMD which is what RequireJS uses it also lets you use ES6 imports which are kind of futuristic and I haven't used them before but it's something I'm considering using so I kind of like that you can just, as a developer, you can just choose whatever module system you like. And if you use more than one, uh, Webpack should be smart enough to combine them all. Okay, so I have Webpack installed. And let me just look at the tutorial. Uh, what I need to do is give it an entry point, and it'll, it'll set up a build, a bundle file as well. So, same thing as Browserify. Um, I still have my built app.js from Browserify, so I'm going to delete that. And that is where my I want my Webpack build file to go as well. So I'm going to point um, I'm going to point Webpack at app.jsx as my uh, entry point and I'm going to have it build out to build slash app.js. Now since I'm using JSX, uh, that's, that's a React um, format, I need to install something for Webpack to be able to handle JSX. Now for Browserify I was using something called Reactify. For Webpack it looks like I'm going to need what's called a loader. So if I go to the list of loaders, there's actually a really, I think it's a pretty long list of loaders that they that, that you can get. And right in the middle of templating is JSX, and that's linking me to GitHub. So the JSX loader is called JSX loader, and I should be able to, I assume I'll be able to install it using npm install. Uh, JSX loader, and I'll save that as a dev dependency. Let's see how this works. And I guess something else, yeah, that worked. That worked great. And I see it pulled in the React tools as well, which makes sense. Uh, so one thing I need to make is a config file for my webpack. And the reason I need to do that, you don't actually have to do it necessarily. You can just run a command line but because I'm using JSX to get my React code working, I think it's something I should do. So I think if I look under, uh, here's configuration, 
And I just need sort of the most basic one, and then I'll... Here's a very simple one I can use. And I'm supposed to put that in webpack.config.js is the file name they, they look for. So let me just create that. webpack.config.js And another neat thing I, I like about Webpack is because it builds it builds your JavaScript, it handles transpiling whether you're using JSX or I don't know, something like CoffeeScript or whatever tools you're using. If you're doing some ECMAScript 6 stuff, it can handle that. If you're doing stuff with your CSS, like using SAS or less, it can handle that. And it basically helps you build all your files together, bundle them. Uh, minimize them, optimize them, everything like that. Because of all that stuff, that's pretty much all the same stuff I was using Grunt for. And recently I've been looking whether I should be, whether I want to be using Grunt, whether I want to move to Gulp maybe. Um, more recently I was considering just trying to use NPM scripts for everything I'm doing. And it kind of looks like with Webpack, it's going to be doing pretty much everything I need to be doing from the command line. So I might be able to get away with just using npm scripts with webpack. And so in that case my webpack config is going to kind of replace my what would have been my grunt file or my gulp file. It's going to be sort of a single config file for my project that says where where all my source code is, where I want it to be built and all that sort of thing. Okay, so um just looking at my webpack config, it has this underscore underscore dir name. I don't think I need that, but let me just look at my at the website. Uh, just so, yeah, I, I don't think I need that. I think I can just get away with using plus slash. So I'm going to do plus slash. Uh, okay, I don't think I need a context. I'm going to do dot slash uh, source app dot jsx that's my entry point you can have multiple entry points with webpack which is pretty cool but for now I just have one uh, my output is going to be I'll do dot slash build and uh, that's the path and then my file name will be app dot js so I um, don't think this will work yet because I haven't wired in my JSX um, JSX loader. So if I pop back over, uh, let me search JSX loader. And there it is. And what I need to do is um, hmm, I need to define a loader. Now in the configuration for Webpack, I know it talks about that. Um, let me search for loader. Uh, it's probably not the best page to be looking through because it has it's a complete reference for the configuration. So if I go to using loaders, um, yeah, this will have what I need. So they kind of talk about how to use different loaders. See, one way you can do it is by in your require statement. If you're using common JS, you can specify that you want to use a particular loader for a file. But what I think is uh, more more uh, flexible is to just use the file name itself to decide which loader you want to use. So here they have an example for Jade that any files ending in .jade they want to use the Jade loader. So I'm going to do something quite similar except I'm going to uh, make sure that all my JSX uh, files are going to use the JSX loader. So I'll change Jade to JSX, loader to JSX, and I'll just remove the rest of this. I don't need that right now. So um, I'm just going to double check. Okay, they say to use JSX dash loader um, on the JSX loader page. So I'm going to do what they say. I'm not sure if I need that or not kind of conflicting, but okay, let me uh, just review. It looks pretty good. I should be able to just run Webpack, and I 
have no idea if it'll work, but let's find out. So webpack, it didn't work. It's telling me that in my config file, there's an output with a colon, and it's not expecting that. So let's have a look. Output with a colon. I don't see why that would be a problem. Um, does it want the, if this is JSON, no, it's not looking for, oh, I think I need to do, I remember in the Webpack Getting Started page, they mentioned, uh, uh, where is it? Oh, I don't know where it is, but somewhere they mentioned, oh, here it is. Okay, so I need to have module.exports equals my code. So let me put that at the start. The error message didn't mention anything about that, but it's freaking out over something that seems normal, so I'm just assuming it's that. So let's see if that made a difference. Okay. Yeah, this seems um, better. I see some errors, but at least it's running something. So it's telling me there's an error in app.jsx, cannot resolve module react. Hmm. So when I try to load Ra React in my source app, it's breaking. Now, React should be available because it's in my node modules. So I wonder if there's something I need to work out. Maybe something is mentioned in the Webpack webpage. So I'm just going to just going to look for something about using npm with webpack um, I see no JS API and I don't think that's what it's about uh, let me just search Google Google will probably tell me something so npm I guess what I'm looking for is node modules with webpack see if that makes a difference okay it's sending me to the configuration if I search node modules. Okay, the loaders here are resolved relative to the resource which they are applied to. I think that means I need a relative path to point at the React file, but that's not what I want to do. So if you have loaders installed from NPM and, and your node modules folder is not an apparent folder of all source files, Webpack cannot find the loader. You need to add the node modules folder as an absolute path to the resolve loader root option. Okay, so let me copy paste this. I don't know if there's maybe an easier way, but I'm going to just copy paste this into my uh, config file here. And let's see if that works. You know, do you remember I uh, removed something with dir name as my context? Maybe that's my problem. Maybe that's something that would have fixed this. So let me go back to my. Oh, I don't know where it is. Here's a quick way. I'm going to copy this, undo, undo, until I get to my original one that I copied pasted before. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to paste mine back in, and I'm going to use context. I'm going to try that instead of the resolve loader at first. That's just my dir name. Let's see if that makes a difference. Uh, I'm going to run webpack again, and no, that didn't make a difference. Okay, well, that was just a theory. So now I'm going to undo, undo, and go back to that resolve loader solution. And maybe that hopefully works. No, not really. Now there's new error telling me path is not defined. And that is probably because I'm uh, not defining path. Okay, this isn't as easy as I'd hoped. Um, where was I? That was in configuration. So let me find that node module thing again. And uh, I think I need, to, if I'm not mistaken, I need to load in a path. I need to require path. So path join Node.js. Let me just see if something comes up. I need to require path, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's, I thought that might be what it was, but let me just try doing that. So path equals requ require path. Uh, 
let's run webpack and no, it's still telling me that it cannot resolve module react. Do I have react installed? I think I do. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to run npm install. I have it part of my package.json, but I didn't run npm install yet, so that's that's my problem all along. And the reason is I, I made a copy of my other project, but I, I forgot to run npm install at the start, so yeah, that explains why React isn't defined. All right, let's run Webpack, and it worked. And you know what? I'm going to take out that resolve loader stuff. I'm going to take out path. I don't think I don't think I need it. So let me run Webpack. Yeah, no, I didn't need it at all. I was uh, I was chasing after what I thought was the wrong problem. So that's cool. So I should have, yeah, I have app.js. This is what Webpack made. It is different from what I've seen before with Browserify. And that's fine. It's, it does its own thing. Uh, it handles minifying and all that. I'm going to set that up later. Uh, right now, I'm just going to try this out in a browser. So I have build, it's already pointing at app.js and I should be able to load react webpack demo that I've set up. Oh, I have this in a subfolder now. Coding with Jesse subfolder. Uh, what am I doing wrong? React webpack demo, oh, source? Hmm. Oh, my web server is not started, so let me start that up. And refresh. Okay, yeah, it actually worked. Cool. So I had some, you know, problems I've ran into, but I was able to get through those. Turned out to be really stupid things on my side. Uh, Webpack itself worked really well. And yeah, I'm looking forward to using it and trying out some of the other, uh, what do they call them, loaders that come with it. And uh, yeah, it seems like a very promising thing. Well, thanks for watching, and see you next time.